What are the top things that you recommend for someone just getting started in their agency? Guys, I get asked this question all the time, whether I'm speaking at an event, doing Facebook Lives, or working with our partners all across the world. What are the top things that I recommend people to do when they're first getting started? So with that being said, to make it a little easier on myself and just for you guys, I wanna to put together this quick video to talk about the six things that I recommend you focus on in the beginning. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, let's get started. And I'm gonna start off with something that hopefully it's almost getting annoying by now, but I wanna repeat it because I think it's so freaking important. And that is you gotta be committed to something. Like guys, having an agency, I'm here to tell you, like I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. I've coached, I've helped tons of agencies all across the world. It is hard. It is so freaking hard. Yeah, it's easy to sell a client or even two or three or four or 10, but it's hard to sustain an agency long-term, guys. When you have a commitment, when you have something worth fighting for, that's like true, something real, not being a millionaire, not, not that. It's gotta be something real. When you have something so bold as a commitment, it helps you to fight through anything with entrepreneurship. So my number one thing, guys, is you gotta have a commitment. Number two, you got to have a team. And really specifically, there's two core uh, elements that you need when it comes to an agency. Number one, you got to have sales. Someone that is okay with, loves, enjoys, is okay with getting told no a hundred times. Sales guy. You got to have someone on this side. And, and most people watching this video, that's probably you. But on the flip side, you also have to have fulfillment. And I'm just, little caution here, guys. I know a lot of you, you go out and you have, find some VA or someone random on Upwork that says they do PPC, guys. If you're not an expert, you need to hire an expert, okay? And that really goes with anything in entrepreneurship. If you are not an expert, hire an expert, especially with something so important as fulfillment. And the reason you do that is because if I just go hire a VA for something that I'm really not an expert in, how do I grade them? How do I quality do quality assurance? How do I train them? How do I develop them? Do I even know when they're doing good or, or, or bad? No, it's really tough. So find an expert. Really, there's two or three ways you can do that. Number one, find a partner. Find someone that is your better half when it comes to sales, right? So number one, hire someone in full time. Number two, find a fulfillment company that you trust that you can partner up with, that you can get behind. Link to my company below if you wanna use height. But find someone that you trust that is truly an expert. Number two, guys, you gotta have a team to do this. Number three, you gotta pick how you wanna go about your business. What's your strategy? And specifically, like, are you gonna niche down in something or are you gonna go local? And I know a lot of people out there, a lot of coaches will say niche, niche, niche. And the reason they typically do that is because for prospecting, it's easy to automate a niche. You know, hey, roofing owner, da, da, da. It makes it easier on the prospecting side. But I'm here to tell you, from a local standpoint, when like a crisis hits or churn and all this stuff, like my local agencies I'm invested in have a lot lower churn than any of the niche agencies. And it's because it's it's local, it's Bob, it's your neighbor. Like it's really hard to cancel on them, you know? And so it gives you the opportunity to perform better, get things on point and really scale for your clients. There's a lot of power in going local, walking into businesses, offering your, your services and growing like that, right? So you gotta find out what is your niche, guys. Number three, find out how you want to do business. Number four, learn the basics of product. It, I almost feel bad even talking about this because I think it should be so simple. But if you're gonna invest, you're gonna be committed to growing an agency, you're gonna be dedicated to doing what it takes to succeed. And there's so many people that won't take the time to go do a free SEO course on LinkedIn 
or on YouTube or wherever, right? Like there's so many people that won't go and learn at least the basics of PPC. And I'm not talking about become an expert. I mean, like if you join our team and you're a PPC person, you take four weeks of training before you even touch an account. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about a three hour video series, a five hour video series, learn something because it's gonna help you serve your client a lot better. If you haven't do this guys, like once this video ends, once it ends and once you subscribe, go watch a few videos on SEO. It's my favorite product of all. Number five, you got to plan for the long term. Guys, agency world, as I mentioned in the first point, like it's hard, it's tough. If you're not in it for the long game, if you're not dedicated or really truly in it for the long haul, you're going to fail. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to get pissed off. It's going to really just get to you. And more than likely, you're just going to fail in the end. I'm going to be honest. You got to plan for the long haul. All right. And this also drives you in the beginning to really be able to stretch it. Right. But it's not a short game, guys. Number six. And this is my sales tip. All right. My sales tip of this call. And this is what I recommend to anyone getting started in the agency world. It's most simplistic stuff ever, but I swear to you, it works. Make your goal, make your goal to simply talk to five business owners a day, 25 a week. If you do 25 by Friday, take Saturday, Sunday off. If you haven't, get to work on Saturday, but make it a goal to talk to 25 business owners a week. It's the same thing with dating or anything else, guys. If you're if you're struggling with finding a date, just start talking to girls. You talk to enough girls, one's bound to eventually say yes to a date. And I'm not talking about selling them. I'm not talking about trying to convince them about your services. I'm just simply saying talk and have a quality conversation with a business owner. In fact, you don't even have to mention what you do. It will naturally come out eventually. It'll naturally happen that the conversation starts to lean towards what you do and what you can possibly offer to them. But when you go into that conversation, go into it just saying, man, I wanna learn. Because that is ultimately what it's gonna do. You're gonna learn how to talk to, to business owners. You're gonna ha- learn how to kind of approach it with more swag. And ultimately, you're gonna build a relationship that eventually will probably, ultimately, wind up in some business for you. Six tips, guys, on how I recommend getting started in your agency that hopefully you haven't heard anywhere else. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe. If you have any thoughts, comments, especially on niching, love your feedback. And guys, ultimately, I look forward to getting to know you in the future.